cutest girls there ever was I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Please tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day You said my world's on fire Hey weirdos! Um, we are currently at the park, obviously, because it's the only thing that we do to get out of the house. It's the only thing that makes us feel a little bit normal. Um, so we came to the park, obviously, like we do now. It's our, our thing, and I think Avery really gets excited for it, which is kind of nice. Like, when we're at home and we tell her that we're going to go to the park, she, like, actually is, like, gets a smile on her face. Not like now, obviously. Right now she's a little distraught because she had to ride in the car, which is um, apparently torture to her. <laughs> still a pain. <laughs> a lot of people constantly ask like, why Sam sits in the back still. Um, she sits in the back still because Avery is literally the worst in the car. And like we have no idea how to make it better. So if there are actual moms, I'm not talking about 13 year olds, I'm talking about actual moms who have kids somewhere around Avery's age who truly do not like to be in the car and you guys have any tips and tricks that you guys have done, please girl. let us know because Sam thinks that she's going to be sitting back there until Avery is a teenager because Avery's like that, like it's like that bad. Like we would not be able to go on any form of a drive and feel comfortable with her just like screaming in the back because yeah. we would feel like bad moms and we would feel like we're neglecting her like obviously we're, like we're obviously moving the end of may and right now it's between well one us trying to get the vaccine but also like do we fly or do we drive and the thought of driving for a long period of time with avery kind of makes me want to like jump out of the car on a freeway <laughs> Yeah, so and anyone I mean that with as much love. Yeah, so if anyone has any tips and tricks, but anyways, it is a nice, beautiful day actually. Yesterday was so rainy, so cold, so dreary, so weird, and then today it's like literally not a cloud in the sky, which is so nice. Um, we came here yesterday, and there was this little boy, and he looked literally like Prince Harry, but just like two and a half years old. Yeah. Oh my God, he was British so cute. British accent and everything. He was like, hey daddy, uh, where's my ball? Um, that's my British accent, because he has a ball. Anyways, Avery has never cared that she couldn't play with another kid, but she okay, literally, I think she's getting to the age where now she's like actually sad that she can't play with another kid, and it's really freaking sad because we had to try to explain to her you can't play with people because we're in a global pandemic but what kid is gonna understand that it was it was like really sad we felt so 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 bad look at miss avery's cool outfit her pants and her cool shirt and her elephant hey avery can you show them your elephants the hand holding avery's really into hand holding right now which is really fun and so cute it really is. look at that I mean, granted, it's like the wrong hand, but like that's okay. It's the most awkward hand holding ever. Yeah. But but we're doing it. We will take any form of love and affection from Avery, Avery in any way, shape, Avery? or form. <laughs> yeah, I don't know my own kid's name. Our new child. <laughs> oh, wow. oh my god. The cutest girls there ever was. Those are my girls. We got back from the park and Alyssa is currently working out and we just put Avery down. I did just wanna say, however, that just for all of you out there who are at home with a child, find yourself in more of a stay at home situation with your kids due to COVID and all that, we see you. We feel you. For those of you that aren't at home with the child, check in on your friends that have kids because parental burnout is a major thing. And I've seen a lot going around on Instagram and whatnot where it's basically just like parents being mentally and physically exhausted from that 24 seven life with kids. And I know some of you who don't have kids are probably gonna be like, well, what do you mean? Like you're, you're a parent, you sign up for the 24 seven gig. And that's true. You no, know, when, you, when you physically have a child, you, you understand what you're taking on. But when it comes to COVID and stuff, you know, 
it's not a normal situation. If this were not COVID times, Avery might be in a playgroup somewhere a couple days a week, or daycare, or preschool, you know? Like, kids would be doing other things. Kids would be playing with other kids. And to be honest, like, it's a, it's a struggle. It's a daily thing. Some days are easy and fun, and some days just suck. So yeah, check in on your friends with kids because we need it, y'all. I got these at the store. Um, they are these like really, it's haunted ghost pepper. My spice level used to be like really high because I used to eat like wings all the time and before I was vegan, I used to eat like spicy food. And then she married a white girl. Sam <laughs> used to think like ketchup was hot. Obviously not realistically, but you know what I mean. Like Sam's spice level was on the ground, nothing. Still very low. Since meeting Sam, I have not eaten that much spicy food. So, I don't know how this is gonna go. I've never had ghost pepper. You've never had ghost pepper. That's very obvious. Um, so we're gonna try these. Uh, oh, they don't smell hot. Okay, can we split a chip? No, we gotta eat one. What? Yeah, we have to eat both okay. one. Oh. This is it, this is what it looks like. Meat, meat. Okay, ready? I'm not ready. Cheers. I'm not prepared. Okay. Just eat the whole thing. You instantly feel heat. Yeah. What do you think? Honestly, <laughs> I was expecting it to be hotter. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It is. It's still hot. I still am gonna enjoy my Pedialyte. <laughs> You're good. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have another one. I thought, oh, <coughs> there it is. I thought that ghost pepper was like supposed to be really hot. <clears throat> Am I crazy? I thought it was supposed to be like, or is that Carol and a Reaper? Mm. Is that the one where it's like the one chip challenge or something and like it comes in a coffin? Does this have a Scoville level? <coughs> they have like an actual good flavor, so that's why I like them. Is your mouth still on fire? Yeah, a little bit. Really? Like the back over here. Yeah, I'm getting it. <sighs> I'm getting it on my lips too. And I don't feel it as like, I thought you would. Warning, it's freaking hot. Nope. Go. Um, looked it up. Ghost apparently if you look up Scoville unit of ghost pepper, it is one million. Um, it's been like five minutes. My mouth is on fire, but it's not like like I'm sweating and like that's it. So it's not as bad as I thought. My mouth is on fire because I obviously ate like a trillion of them. Delicious. I will eat them, but not as bad as I thought. But also, um, lip plumper. Look at that. Mmm. So it is a little bit later. Um, Avery has been very, I don't know, overwhelmed, I would say. She's just, it's just, it's been a lot. Uh, and it's, we don't know like how to help her because like we can't just go and do normal things. We can't have her play with anyone. So we were talking to a friend of mine who is literally a psychiatrist, an actual psychiatrist. And they were saying that like, I think maybe, maybe Avery has too many things, like too many toys out. So she said to put away pretty much everything except maybe like five-ish objects so that's what we did Avery has been asleep so when she before she went to sleep all of this whole thing was filled um, we kept there's two books in there there's a puzzle right there there's two cars like right there and then there's like a vacuum thing um, obviously the kitchen we're not just gonna move it but we put everything pretty much away inside of it uh, oh yeah we need to put that away but kept the chair out this is it right here and we're kind of hoping that maybe 
it'll be better and like she won't be as like overwhelmed we think that maybe she's just like overly stimulated if you are parents or if you are nurse doctor whatever whatever this is if this is what we should be doing or if there's something better that we could be doing because we have tried everything we've tried like the kinetic sand we've tried like you know sensory toys we've tried monitor like everything and it just seems like no matter what she's just constantly overwhelmed I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go back to why don't we go back to Honestly, I'm open wide I don't feel like waking up without you by my side Free has never experienced a swing before and we are at this park and literally not a soul is here I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone here and she's going to experience a swing for the first time ever Like this. Watch what? Are you scared? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, by herself does not go well. So we're gonna do it with her sitting with Sam and them swinging. So we'll see how that goes. Hi! You wanna go? I think she just wants to play with the rocks. Yep. This park feels like a huge win for us. Legitimately, I have never seen Avery more content yeah. more calm happy yeah. feels like she's literally enjoying herself like it also makes us realize like you know we have like ch a checklist for different things for like our future house and whatever and like apparently rocks in the playground that's it that's the checklist yeah <laughs> this is like so crazy like we have been here for almost an hour now yeah. and like we and have did not start out good she screamed as soon as we stopped the car and we're taking her out like, yeah but we have never been hey careful careful we have never been any place yeah careful you gotta for be an careful. hour and just avery has just been fine like this is kind of like crazy so we are back from the park showered she is not showered yet but <clears throat> We made dinner, made some lentils, broccoli, and um, red potatoes. Uh, this is actually a really good meal, and mm. it's healthy, and Avery likes it, so it's a win. Lentils are really good, good source of protein, all that stuff. Avery actually likes them. Mm. She loves broccoli, which I don't know what kid likes broccoli, but this girl likes broccoli. For being a picky eater, she likes broccoli. And then obviously like potatoes are like really good. We just roast them with a bunch of like seasonings, very little salt, but just like a bunch of seasonings in the oven. So good. And if you want to elevate your lentils, I know it probably sounds weird, but add like a little of like Dijon mustard. It's good. For someone who good. doesn't really like mustard, yeah. she likes it. Okay. And That's I'm telling product. you, it elevates it, but yeah. So she likes broccoli. She might like spit it out, but then she'll eat it again. Like, you she's, know, she's like weird. She has to like taste it, make sure it's good and then take it out and then probably do it again. Mm -hmm. But these are like really good. Mm -hmm. So this is what like vegans eat. I don't know if people like think like vegans eat like weird things. Like, especially if you're not vegan, like your meal is usually like somewhat around the meat. Like it's a form of meat, something mm -hmm. else, something else. But, good. Mm -hmm. mm. 
black lentils are so good. They're good. I like it. Can we give it a thumbs up? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> good try. Yeah. So this is a win for us as moms. When you can get your kid to eat something that is healthy and it tastes good. For us, if we can get her to eat anything, that's That's also us. true. All right, you guys. That is it for <clears throat> this video. It's kind of like a day in the life, mom edition. You know, nothing really unusual uh, that we did, but we tried to make it a little bit more fun. Being a parent, especially a COVID parent, mm -hmm. is really weird and hard. Mm -hmm. And we don't show like the really, really, really hard moments mm -hmm. because like we don't want to put Avery on display like that. But also like we do want to talk in a about negative it. light. Yes, yeah. yeah. but we do want to like talk about it because it is hard. But being a mom is like, so weird. You know, you have all this like mm -hmm. anxiety and tired and frustrated, and then you're like frustrated that you're frustrated mm -hmm. and then you're like sad and you're overwhelmed and you're anxious and like and yeah. all of these things and then she does something cute like take a cute picture with you mm -hmm. or like hold your hands or or says chocolate or it says chocolate like she just like <laughs> does all these things mm -hmm. and I feel like all of those like things that like you just like had those thoughts those yeah. feelings just like all of a sudden there's just like a reset button mm -hmm. and it just like goes away and then you're like you remember like why you love being a mom and it's not like mm -hmm. always bad it's not like we have these thoughts constantly yeah. but like it is really hard when you have a toddler who's not understanding of the situation going on in the world yeah. and then basically being like oh by the way you can't have a normal life yeah and even though she doesn't know anything else it's still hard for her because mm -hmm. she does see people yeah at, physically at the park yeah but she's not able to go near them mm -hmm. or play with them or talk to them in person. And she's and now like starting to really want like, to do that. Yeah, like want to. And yeah. that's the hardest part is like us feeling so guilty. And I know we've mentioned it before, like, and I know that we're doing the best that we can, obviously. Yeah. And like, there's nothing else. Like, we're not going to change the situation because at the yeah. end of the day, like, keeping us and her safe is our main priority. And so yeah. like, these are the sacrifices like we have to make. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, overall, the park ended the day in a yeah. way better way. Oh my yeah. god! Like it literally it made turned it like, the day around. Cause we were we we didn't show it, but I'm I'm sure maybe if you watch the footage back, like you mm -hmm. could see it like on her face. And, like, I talked. I don't know if you put our, that in, but I mm -hmm. talked a little bit like mm -hmm. while you were like. Yeah, and you like physically see it like in our body, and like you yeah. can just feel it, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyways, uh, bye bye.